So what was music, uh, what was the musical world like with your parents and, you know, uh, parents' record collections or what were, what, what were your, what was your exposure to music? Older siblings or? Yeah, you, should I, you first. All right. Um, okay, so, yes, my name is Arzu, my dad is Turkish, and so my dad strictly listened to Turkish music, and it was kind of like a lot of Turkish disco when I was little, like Ollie Seven, and he had eight tracks, and he would, and, and reel-to-reels even, like, and so my sisters and I would put these reel-to-reels and these eight tracks in, and we'd make these dance routines for our dad, you know, like, yeah, check it out, you know. And um, so, yes, yeah, so my dad listened to only Turkish music, and then uh, my mom listened to classical music, but then she had like Neil Diamond and like, you know, just like some, I'm trying to even think of who else. Really like, I'm trying to get like the Peanuts Christmas album was like one of the only things too. Like, my sisters were the ones that really influenced my musical um, taste because they listened to a lot of new wave and goth rock, you know, and um, uh, just, you know, all the 80s stuff. And so, yeah, my parents, kind of nothing, you know, to do with it, except for the dance routines I would make for them. I like to Hooked on Classics, too, yeah. How but many sisters? Four older sisters. Wow. I'm the youngest of five girls, all girls. And how much older than you were they? Uh, pretty much, like, my oldest sister is, like, 12 years older than me, and my sister right above me is, like, three years, so there was about three yeah. years between each of us, kind of, so. But they were, they had their record collections and yeah, so everyone was in love with, like my sister Layla was in love with Cy Kernan from The Fix. So I listened to The Fix all the time and then my sister Isel was in love with Michael Hutchins from In Excess. So I listened to In Excess, In Excess all the time because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to of course be my older sisters because they were so cool and, you know. So. Now did any of them play an instrument? Oh, no, no. Hmm. My sister Jasmine right above me bought a drum set that was way more expensive than anything I ever asked my parents to buy me. And they bought that for her without a question. And then when I was begging for a guitar, they're like, all right, fine, but you can use this Sears amp that, you know, was $2 that we bought at a garage sale. I'm like, okay. And yeah. <laughs> so, so she played drums for a heartbeat and then just, you know, then it sat in the basement and got dust on it. So, so how was guitar your first, the first instrument you? I tried violin for a little bit and it just didn't stick when I was in fourth grade. But, uh, but yeah, guitar is my first instrument my first my first love so yeah. and how old were you when that happened uh 17 okay and were you what was it that spurred you wanting to play guitar at that point um a lot of different bands in town but i definitely do credit just babes in toyland like going to see babes in toyland at 15 and being terrified and yet so enthralled in seeing that and seeing cat up on stage i'm like oh my god she's the coolest woman ever and so yeah definitely she was the reason I definitely wanted to buy a guitar and start playing, and so, yeah. Mm. All right, Christy. Um, well, my dad played guitar, and my uncles played guitar, and my aunt played piano, and that went on for, or just, they just, had they just did it. I have a very musical family, and they did a lot of folk music, so we'd sit around campfires. I'm from northern Minnesota, and I lived on 30 acres of land, and the nearest city was 30 miles away, so. I didn't have a record store to go to, and I didn't have cable TV, I had none of that. I had my imagination and a bunch of um, hippie aunts and uncles. So I grew up on listening to Peter, Paul, and Mary renditions, uh, you know, Pop the Magic Dragon, Leaving on a Jet Plane, stuff like that, and then singing along as a kid to all that stuff. And um, I got really into music fast, and my dad, and I would record these songs onto the eight-track realistic stereo console that we had. So we, I had all these eight-tracks of me and my dad, and I'd write really great lyrics about the stove, what my mom was cooking. But I would sing it, and I was about three years old. So it instantly started with singing. I didn't do anything but sing. And um, by the time I was in like elementary school, my mom had me in the church choir. So I was going to choir once a week and learning how to sing with people and harmonize and do that kind of thing. Not that my voice is very great, I'm definitely not an operatic singer of any sort, but it definitely helped with my musicality, which would turn into violin, which I would take in sixth grade, 
And then I end, ended up being a drummer and band which gave me a rhythmical prowess. And by the time I was in high school, I had my dad showing me those folk chords just to get started. And I instantly bought a, a, a metal Epiphone guitar and went to guitar lessons. And the first thing I wanted to learn was Rush. It's like, I don't want to learn Louie Louie. I want to, I don't know, for, something, for some reason, I, got, I turned into one of those really snobby progressive, like I'm into really, really progressive music at a very young age. How had you heard Rush, or how did you Well, I mean, all the classic rock. My parents had a lot of classic rock in their, in their record collections, so I would listen to a lot of that. Um, and then my cousins, I, have, I blame a lot of my, my punk rock and my, and my um, snobbiness on my cousins because they were about four years older than me, and they were all these skaters. And uh, they were listening to Rush and Iron Maiden. Of course, they would also turn me onto the punk rock of my youth, which is really, really really, really influential, like, uh, but I would listen to a lot of Iron Maiden and I don't know, that stuff is, is gallopy, but it's definitely technical, and so Rush was technical too. So which Rush tune was it that you wanted to learn? Um, well, there was a bunch of Rush tunes that I remember, but the first, the first um, song I wanted to learn when I went to guitar lessons, and I will I'll not forget this, I was maybe 13, and I walked in and the guitar teacher was like, um, it was at Masabi Range Music on Chestnut Street in Virginia, by the way. He's like, what do you want to learn, Louie Louie? And he started playing it, and I'm like, no, I want to learn free will. <laughs> just like, nah, 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 nah. He just looked at me like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs>